OK, let's start with a reasonably simple one. I started watching Monsters University at 7 p.m., so 7 o'clock in the evening. The film is one hour and 50 minutes long. When will it finish? So I'm wanting to move into the future, so I'm wanting to move forwards in time by one hour and 50 minutes. I've already set my clock to 7 o'clock. So what I'm going to do is move on one hour, so one complete rotation of the minute hand, and then 50 minutes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 minutes. And I can see that the time that we've got to is 8.50 p.m. If I was wanting to write it in 24 hour time, because it's a p.m. time, I would add 12 onto the 8 and it would be 20.50. And I don't need to put the p.m. anymore because the 20 is showing that it is in the evening. We won't always have this clock mechanism though. So the simplest way to do this without one is using a number line, okay? I put my start time on the number line and then I use it exactly how I would do for adding or subtraction. I'm going to look up here and notice that I've got one hour and 50 minutes. So I'm going to add my hour first and that would take us to eight o'clock and then I'm going to add my 50 minutes. Now, this is less than one hour, so it's still going to be 8 something, and in this case, it's going to be 8.50. So we can see the different ways to solve that problem. I started watching How to Train Your Dragon at 11.30. That's in 24 hour time, because it doesn't have an AM or a PM, so it must be in the morning. The film is one hour and 38 minutes long. When will it end? Let's have a look. First of all, let's go on one hour. And then 38 minutes. Well, I know that half an hour, 30 minutes would take me to here. And then we need another eight minutes after that. There's five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the time is 1.08 p.m. Or if I was writing it as 24 hour time, it would be 13.08. Let's use our number line method to check. Let's start at 11.30. And it's one hour and 38 minutes. So I could jump one hour to 12.30, 30, 30 minutes to 1 p.m. Let's just put those times on the top so I remember what we've done. And then finally, the eight minutes would take us to 108. I started watching Toy Story at 14.20, so that's going to be 20 past two in the afternoon. The film is 81 minutes long, so this time the time is in minutes, not hours and minutes. When will it end? There's two ways that you could do this. You could just count around your clock 80 minutes, but the easier way to do this one, I would say, is to take your 81 minutes and to split it into 60 minutes, which would be one hour, and what would be left would be 21 minutes. So there you've got your one hour and your 21 minutes. And you could check that just by adding them back together. 60 add 21 would get you back up to 81. So let's look at it this time on the number line first. Here is our time at 14.20. 20 past 2. We're going to jump on one hour and that will get us to 15.20 or 3.20 p.m. Oops. And then we've still got our 21 minutes to add. That's quite easy to add in one go. We know that 20 add 21 is going to be 41. So it's not gone past the next hour yet. So it's going to be 15, 41 or 3, 41 p.m. We can check on our clock. We're going to go one hour forwards and then another 21 minutes. 10, 20, oh, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20 and the 1. And there's our 3, 41 time. 
So if you have something in minutes, it's sometimes easier to convert it into hours and minutes first than try to add it all just as minutes.